Nam Singh's case was simple. The company makes its employees work 12 hours for seven days and then give them a week off. Because of this working arrangement that enables its mining operations to run around the clock, it pays those employees who work these shifts an allowance and transports them to their families during the weeks that they are off. It says that this arrangement suits the company because its extraction and processing of zinc operations cannot stop and stopping operations and restarting the mine costs over 300 million. Andrew Corbett for Nam Singh said, in fact, that was why the company had said the workers will work this way when they signed employment contracts and the Mine Workers Union had agreed to this in its recognition agreement with the company. He said as a result of that arrangement, 12-hour shift workers also worked 15 days instead of the 21 that the other employees worked. However, Dr. Saki Akwenda for the Mine Workers Union said, a court order asking employees to work beyond the legal overtime would be unlawful. He said the employees were only resorting to the normal work hours they are required to work in the Labor Act and their employment contracts were illegal. Jachunengu said a company could only ask employees to work overtime exceeding 10 hours a week if it had been exempted from working normal hours by the Minister of Labor.